All right, so today I'm going to just quickly show you the benefits of smart exploration and how it can help you, how you can gain pretty much a, an abundance of items whenever you go to sleep, whenever you go to work, put in eight hours of work, you can leave your phone. It will log out after five seconds and you will continually get resources. Now we, we go here. There is a huge selection. We're going to just quickly go through because I think people obviously do smart exploration, and if you don't, you should be. The pros outweigh the cons on this one. The so gold, we're going to get experience, and we're going to get sodium. Sodium, we can take the door creation and potentially get come with the fate champion. I have had fate champions, but unfortunately, there are three Megai, so. We got six of her now. You have these items here for your hero growth. So if I wanted to take a champion from four to five star by simply doing smart exploration, some of the resources that I'm gonna need for that I'm gonna get for free. I'm gonna wake up as long as I have levy stones. My team is gonna be exploding for me, they're gonna be getting into battles, get experience. They're going to get gold, they're going to pick up gear. They have equipment growth material, this is just for like your passing your gear, or if you want to increase the ratings, they start it on your gear. This is all extremely helpful. If there's, like I say, any dungeons you're in, you need to put more power onto your team, maybe you just think I'm going to level 30 my boots, my weapon, whatever. This is just a some of this is just a guaranteed reward to get. The champions, pretty much for me, I would just disassemble every single one of those champions. Any champion I get, I disassemble for heroic tokens, and eventually there's going to be something in the exchange that's worth it. Uh, they're just basically from North of Frosty. That's door to creation. I can't remember the exact item. Use them for in this instance, but I can find that out. Spirit champions to help grow your champions, make them stronger. Now, the gear list you predominantly will get some purple gear, but what you're going to see is probably a pile of blue and a pile of green. For me, that's just all disassemble. That creates powder of light, which I'm going to get for free. If I gain 300 powder of light, that's still pretty good. If I gain 200. That's still pretty good for logging off, going to work, or sleeping, or whatever business you have to do. Just to basically log back on and be given all of these items. Unless it's a three star piece, for myself it's not in the inventory. Do not need it. The green, I highly recommend, as soon as you get green, Pray for blue. When you get blue, get rid of all the green. When you get purples, get rid of all the blue and the green. Until eventually you can progress onto painted gear. And eventually make your champion stronger with guardian stones. Solar seals. They're a reward in which you can go to the door of creation or door to creation. It's 300 per pool for a champion. It's the exchange has a better rate. You can say you need Karen or you need Ooze. You can buy pretty much that champion from there. But in Dort Creation, there's just a very slim chance you're going to get a fairy champion. It's slim, but it is possible. So if you look at the laws of probability, eventually you have to strike out. You have to get lucky. And I got a Holy Water of the Universe yesterday. My very first one from Smart Exploration, which I'm extremely chuffed about. And considering I had I'm pretty much going to put the game on before the maintenance began, and then when the maintenance began, that put on that's the five hours of basically just Smart Exploration. Getting resources, getting gear. I had loads of fragments, I had lots of Gear to break apart, champions to break apart. Basically, because it's free, it's something that you should be doing every day. 
if you're going into the shop, you're going to, whatever you're going to do, you're just going to tap Smart Exploration. And you're going to get the option just to explore. And when you tap Explore, your phone will count down from 5 to 1. It, it will tell you that the game is going to log off. So obviously this is an offline thing. So you're going to log out and it will search until all of your levy stones are gone. Now you will need levy stones for doing these searches, like stamina. And if you do need them, and you can create them into door to creation. You can co-verse with travelers to get them as well. So there are ways to get levy stones. I just, unless you have a high amount, I don't really recommend golems. Golems are, if you have enough, then you can fight a golem for sure. You're going to get two three star gear. You're going to get some of the items that you see in this list just two seconds ago. But ultimately, the pros outweigh the cons by simply logging on. Everybody will gain a great pile of items. Now you can look in the journal and you can see it's 450 powder of light for a purple piece of gear. And let's say you've been on smart exploration and you have six pieces of purple gear. You just saved yourself several thousand powder of light. But in the process you've got champions you can dismantle and gear, well that's heroic tokens, powder of light. Or if you choose to sell some things, you want to build up your gold storage. And then, yeah, whatever, do whatever you gotta do, man. But this option here is something that I'm pretty sure everybody does it. But if not, please begin to explore the exploration options. You can do it online if you're, you need to go make a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. Right, put this on, and then you can come back, you can just end exploration, continue playing your game as you were. If it's a longer period of time, please remember, smart exploration. The benefits far outweigh anything that you can get anywhere else. Because it's free. You log back on after going to sleep. Wake up in the morning, claim what you did for your previous Smart Exploration. You're about to go to work, go straight back to Smart Exploration again. So this is just resources that are free if you have levy stones. Like I say, it'll just go on and on. If you've got thousands of levy stones, you can leave your phone for, for like a week. Not that you would. You've got games to play just shows you how much you're going to gain how much this is going to save you in the exchange how much items that you're not going to have to buy with regards to gear with regards to meteorite, adamantium the essence, holy waters so uh, make sure every day you're doing a small exploration if you can me personally, I think I'm addicted to them if I'm nipping out somewhere, small exploration I'm going to sleep, I gotta go put 8 hours in at work, smart exploration. Guys, the levy stones are easy to get your hands on, you just pull a verse with travelers, they will be good to your rewards, you can create the door to creation, which we can go through in a different video, but I just wanted to highlight the actual bonuses of smart exploration, and you see all of this stuff. And you think, I'm never going to get a holy water of the universe. And I got a screenshot that says otherwise. And I got other screenshots where they've just had abundance of six star gear. As compared to some of this three, four we see here. So by all means, especially for gear alone to help your champions. You do not want to spend any money in the airship forge. And if you can help it, you don't want to buy gear either, unless you really need it. This should all be, and this helps my account continuously. 
continuously helping my account with gear that I can break down or gear I can equip to a champion if I'm going into a special dungeon like I said you want to utilize what you have and the more you gain it really no expense because as soon as you get your gold from here and your items from here or you hope for some exodium so you go to door to creation it costs you nothing because you're going to get the gold from exploring you're going to get the exodium as well so I hope that kind of clarifies the importance of smart exploration just this icon in the center here is visible from the open world make sure guys you're doing it if you haven't done it please build up some levy stones start messing around with it put it on for a bit now and again and just you're going to have an abundance of pretty much everything you need to help your champions help your gear it's essentially free all you have to do is tap on the button phone logs off the instant resource collection begins so guys i hope that kind of summarizes what smart exploration is and how it benefits you with regards to gear increasing your star rating polishing your gear to increase your power rating making your four star champions into five stars five into six the same with gear or you want to bless something all of these items will be very beneficial to you and i just really wanted to point that out in this video just to help you guys i'm sure everybody does it but there's new players if you haven't done it please be sure to check it out you just require levy stones so be sure to cool versus travelers do your dailies just get all the rewards you can and just always smart explore whether it's work whether it's bed you got a family thing you got to go to you can have your phone on trying to collect some resources you're going to get some gear you're going to get some boots get champions you get solar shields you get experience most importantly gold so it's extremely important guys to try to do this pretty much if you can every day if you got something to do put it on everybody's life is different but if you can manage to put it on some more exploration you will definitely definitely reap the rewards by just logging back in so guys i hope that tells you and shows you how kind of important it is to smart explore as far as to accumulate your resources and that was just all i really wanted to say in this video